Hello guys, uh, my name is Shreya Se. I am an educator at Anacademy. Uh, you can follow my courses on the learning app as well. You can follow my new set of courses uh, on the learning app as well. Uh, so this is a lesson about the non-renewable and renewable energy uh, resources. So please do rate it, review it and share it. And please do follow us on our Anacademy YouTube channel that is the Anacademy Engineering Curriculum. Thank you. So guys, let's start with our course, Elements of Mechanical Engineering. So I have given my introduction already. I am a B Mechanical Engineering student. You can follow me at my Anacademy user platform by pressing the following URL. Energy Resources is the course on which uh, the further lessons will be dictated. So the target audience for this slide will be engineering students, uh, general audience who are interested in science related topics. People who are interested in environmental resources. People interested in knowing the involvement of natural resources. So what are the learning outcomes of this slide? Namely, you guys will come to know what are renewable energy resources. What are non-renewable energy resources. What are the advantages of these resources. What are the disadvantages of these resources. And what are the uses of these resources. So renewable and non-renewable energy resources, let's start with the first set of slides. So before starting on with the lesson, let me explain it, it with a quote, uh, which is <coughs> mind boggling. The wasting of finite resources is everyone's business nowadays. So that's apt, right? Nowadays, everyone is going on uh, wasting the finite resources we have. That is the non-renewable energy resources we have. So that has become a quite a business for everyone by uh, by wasting it so let's start with the lesson so what is energy resources they are nothing but a stock or supply of materials that are needed that is needed for the smooth running of our day to day life they are extracting uh, they are helpful in extracting or producing energy and they are also affiliated with energy which means they are they are the combination of energy and any form of energy can be converted into another so we know this as the law of conservation so they are directed from the sun all the energies which we get are from the sun itself they are divided into two uh, classifications namely the renewable and non-renewable energy resources they ease out the proceedings of our life as well as it costs life it means it has both <coughs> good effects as well as harmful effects so you can see here various renewable and non-renewable energy resources so what are renewable energy resources they are energy extracted from the renewable natural resources they are naturally replenished so what does naturally replenished mean naturally replenished means they are plenty in available all over the nature so that is what naturally uh, replenished means they are hazardous free means they do not give out any strong emissions or they do not cause air pollution <coughs> noise pollution etc they are helpful in the following areas namely the electricity generation air and water heating or cooling transportation and rural energy services so these are the following renewable energy resources you can see over here the hydel energy the solar energy the wind energy the geothermal energy and the sand energy so renewable energy resources some of the properties of them are they are very cheaper so you can get renewable energy resources at a very cheaper rate <coughs> okay uh, then they are very efficient they are much efficient but the uh, bitter tooth is that only 5% of the world's whole uh, energy production is done by the usage of rene renewable energy resources they play a major role in the energy con uh, conservation of the mankind uh, some of the renewable energy resources are wind energy, hydro energy, solar energy, biofuel and geothermal energy. So you can see over here this is an image depicting the windmill which is nothing but the wind energy. This image de depicts the solar panels which means it is the solar energy. So you can see the renewable energy resources here which is namely the wind energy, solar energy hydropower and the biomass energy as well as the non-renewable namely the nuclear, natural gas, coal and fossil fuel oil. 
so non renewable energy resources they are also energy extracted from natural resources only but the process of remaking or replacing or reusing cannot be applied here once you use the fuel it is done you can't use it back again so it has finite resource availability and it has higher chances of extinction if the resources are if the resources are <coughs> resources have uh, consumed quickly and they relatively have a short span of lifetime so you can see here the coal the natural gas the nuclear power plant uh, the non renewable energy resources and you can see how less the time is left for these resources to get into extinction so it makes out around 95% of the world's energy they constitute of organic materials that's the reason they are very hazardous in nature and they leave out harmful gases and poisonous gases they have limited availability that's the reason it has to be used in full proper <coughs> planning and some of the non renewable energy resources are nuclear energy natural gas oil coal biomass and fossil fuels so you can see here the coal as well as how the coal is actually produced it is from the uh, excreted of the dead plants and animals so this is a image depicting the nuclear energy which is used as a fuel for rockets as well as for electricity or power generation so these are fuel pellets of uranium fuel pellets which is used in the nuclear power reactors and they are very small in size the reason i have shown this picture i will explain in the next or coming slide why i have shown this small fuel pellet so what are the advantages of renewable energy resources they are very cheap to operate they do not need a specific area they can be built in any area they can even the, you can see the solar panels in the rooftops of your houses and they can they have an infinite storage of energy within them and they are very environment friendly so this is a image depicting the hydro electric power plant how uh, power generation is done by the usage of this water you can see the turbines here and the propellers here which rotate and uh, because of the force of which the power is produced and the advantages of non renewable energy resources are they are cheaper than the renewable energy resource uh, the point to be noted because Though solar energy and wind energy are available in plenty, setting up windmills and setting up solar power plants constitute a lot more uh, money rather than uh, constituting a nuclear power plant, etc. That's the reason it's uh, mentioned so. And then it is efficient production of energy because just by burning a two. Percent of coal, you can get a heat of around ninety percent, and they have shorter span of time. means in shorter span of time only they leave out the energy emissions so you get the energy in a shorter span of time and a small amount of energy can create a big impact now you guys can remember that why did i show the small fuel pellet even a small fuel pellet it actually creates an energy of around <coughs> 50000 megawatts so you can see here how the dependency or uh, how the dependency of the human beings has actually increased from here to here this was actually took in the year 2000 2006 and after an year you can see actually coal has been reduced but the oil usage has been increased and the natural gas usage remains the same whereas the nuclear usage has been decreased which is a good sign for the environment lovers so what are the disadvantages of renewable energy resources they are very expensive to build they are noisy they produce noises while the energy production the energy production is low compared to the non renewable energy resources and the energy consumption is high it uh, it uh, extracts a lot of energy for producing even small amounts of energy and the operation of these things re requires skill simply you can't uh, get the power out of it it requires a skill operator to extract the power out of it so you can see here this is a image depicting the hydro energy you can see the <coughs> how the dams are uh, uh, set up here for the flowing of water so what are the disadvantages of non renewable energy resources they are a limited quantity the extraction is very difficult they are very harmful and leave out hazardous gases out they are strategically very vulnerable thus the reason they must be uh, safeguarded in uh, specified containers or specified 
uh, channels and then there is a higher chance of resource depletion and there is competition amongst the renewable resources so it's consumed very quickly compared to the other resources so you can see here the image depicting a geo uh, biofuel power plant so this is a nuclear power plant you can see the emissions coming out of here so what are the uses of renewable energy resources in wind energy they are used for power production and water supply in solar energy they are used for power production power storage water heating photovoltaic systems and daily heating <coughs> in hydro energy they are used as water storage power production power storage and channeling of river water hydro energy can also be named as hydel energy so you can see how the geothermal power plant works here the hot water fumes to the where it is gone into the turbine where it condenses and uh, the electric current is generated by the increasing of current where it goes into the current for the transportation and it goes into the cooling tower again so that it can be used again so it's a recycling process so how does the solar panel works you can see from this above diagram the solar irradiance from this sun it moves and produces the current in the bulb here so uses continued the geothermal energy it is used for power production heat pumps geothermal direct use biofuel it is used for vehicles power production power storage and biodegradable plastic products <laughs> hydrogen energy fuel cells and power production the green power it is used in energy conservation <laughs> so you can see the geothermal power plant here don't confuse it with emission these are just teams coming out of the geothermal power plants so what are the uses of non renewable energy resources the nuclear energy it is used for power production power storage and fuel production fossil fuels they are used for power production fuel production and heat generation natural gas it is used for fuel production vehicle production and heat generation so you can see here the biomass sea farm algae and wild algae how they are refined and how they are used for very other purposes so continued oil <coughs> is used for fuel production and vehicle regeneration coal is used for fuel production power production heat generation and mineral extraction extraction uranium is used for power production power storage weapons manufacturing so thank you guys any questions please drop those in the comments box below you can find me at this url which is my unacademy user platform name and please do rate this course review this course and recommend this slide or lesson if you have like the presentation and please do follow me on my academy user platform thank you guys have a wonderful day